Peter Hug is back in studio and we'll get his thoughts on the ECB rate announcement and jobs numbers. Does he care? Up next. Peter Hug is with me today. Peter, thanks so much for being with us. Nice to be here, Daniela. So everyone seems to be paying attention to the EU rate announcement coming out on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Will you? Yeah, I think the market is watching it. I, uh, I think the market expects uh, the EU to drop rates at least by a quarter point. I think that's in the market right now. If the EU holds steady, um, I think uh, money will flow back into the euro. There'll be a relief rally for the euro and uh, should be positive for the metals in the short term. Right. Well, I was going to ask you that. How could a rate cut or a dovish statement affect gold? If a rate cut uh, occurs, I think there'll be movement away from the euro into the U.S. dollar. Uh, again, uh, our argument over the past six months has been that the U.S. recovery is ahead of the EU's. Uh, a rate cut would signal to me that they're still worried over there. And uh, Draghi came out the other day and indicated his concern was more deflationary as opposed to inflationary, which is usually the criteria for the Europeans as an inflationary risk. Uh, that indicates to me the economy isn't firing there. and uh, that will uh, create movement, I think, of asset flows into the dollar, which would be negative for the metals in the short term. Right. Well, I was going to ask you that. Everyone's kind of looking at the inflation numbers. Does this give the ECB room to cut? Yeah, I don't see inflation being an issue uh, in Europe, and I certainly don't see it being an issue in North America yet. And uh, I mean, if you look at even the Fed's target of 2%, we're down at under a quarter of a percent. So I don't think the inflation is a risk for at least a couple of more years. Okay, Peter. So now back on this side of the world, we have jobs numbers coming out this week. Yeah, again, you know, the job numbers are going to, it's going to be job owning if they're really, really strong uh, job creation numbers. Uh, uh, there's going to be talk again that the Fed is going to taper in December. If they're very weak numbers, uh, then the tapering will be off the table till next year. Uh, I mean, it'll be a number, there'll be a reaction to it, but I honestly don't think the Fed will do anything until the end of the do year. Do you think one could have more impact over another if you have to choose between the ECB announcement and jobs? Well, the ECB announcement, I think, is the primary news driver that's expected tomorrow. And uh, from that, I think we'll get some uh, short-term direction in the metals. Okay, so let's look at overall sentiment that you're seeing from investors right now. I'm seeing... Uh, Actually, I'm not seeing a lot of enthusiasm right now. I mean, these markets have been saturated at these levels. Uh, we've been in this $1,300 range a number of times. Right. And, uh, you know, I think anybody that wanted to be long this market is long. And, uh, you know, anybody that is looking for a correction is still out of the market. And until we get the breaks of uh, some significant uh, chart levels, which again, in my mind, uh, you know, are the 1325, 1330 level on the upside and 1300 on the downside, until we get some new new levels, uh, I think investor interest rate at these levels is pretty tame. Okay, so Peter, what key figures are you looking at for gold right now? Again, I'm still looking for it to hold the, uh, you know, the sort of the 1300 psychological level, although I don't think there's major support there. 1312 to 1325 breaks through that channel on either side. I think we have another $25. Okay, on silver? Silver is going to trade with gold. Uh, I mean, I'm looking, if gold breaks up through uh, 1325, I can see silver trading in the high 23s, low 24s, uh, as gold approaches 1355 again. If gold breaks down below uh, the $1,300 level, silver in the uh, with a handle of $20 on it is certainly in the realm of possibility. Well, next week, get ready because I want to ask you about the gold-silver ratio. Okay, fair enough. All right, thanks for being with us today, You're Peter. welcome. And thanks for watching this edition of For Pete's Sake. It's always nice to have Peter in studio. You can email us at newsfeedback at or follow me on Twitter at Daniela Camboni. Thanks for watching.